Welcome to Go Ed Tech Go, and thanks for joining us for today's Hydrogen Peroxide and Catalase Lab. Today we have our resident chemistry expert, Mr. Ed Gonzalez here, who's gonna to talk to you about the reaction and about the lab. Mr. Ed Gonzalez. Hi, I'm Mr. Gonzalez. Uh, I'll be your chemistry teacher next year. So we wanna talk a little bit about hydrogen peroxide and the reaction, so the decomposition using catalase. All right, so you have to visualize your hydrogen peroxide molecule. Okay, so you've got two oxygen atoms in the middle and they're bonded together. And then they're surrounded with these electrons. And then on the opposite ends of the oxygen atoms, you'll have hydrogen atoms that are attached to either side of the molecule. Well, these oxygen atoms are surrounded with electrons and electrons have negative charges. So basically these oxygen atoms are repelling each other because you have two negative charges repelling each other, kind of like a magnet, two negative ends of a magnet. So it, it becomes much easier for the enzyme to come in and just pluck the oxygen off of the molecule and that's how the reaction happens. Okay, so the, that bond between the oxygen atoms is more unstable. So the enzyme finds it easier to just pluck the oxygens off. Right, and that's the reaction uh, for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide using catalase, the enzyme. Okay, I hope this made it easier to understand. Have fun with your lab, everyone. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. And uh, I hope that made it a little bit easier for you. We're gonna do the baseline test for this catalase lab. So let's get going. Okay, so now we're gonna run the baseline test for the catalase lab with hydrogen peroxide. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have our laptop out. We're gonna have log, uh, graphical analysis pulled up on our Chromebook. I have this plugged in to the USB and I have this gas pressure sensor into channel one. Here's my gas pressure sensor here. I'm just gonna make sure that these are tightened down so we don't have any gas that will escape. And this is very important. There's a little gas, uh, there's a little uh, gauge here. Um, and that allows for uh, gas to, to come out if it's in line. We're gonna make sure that it's closed so we don't lose any of the pressure because we're gonna check the pressure that builds up as this oxygen gas is released. We're gonna make sure that these are secure. Here's my setup here. I have a stir plate. I have a 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. I'm gonna go ahead and put my stir bar in. And I have 50 mLs of uh, 3% H2O2. Okay, put that in. I'm gonna turn on my stir bar to five. I'm just gonna do this for consistency. So I know in my next lab with my variables, I'm gonna leave that at five. I'm also gonna take the temperature so that I know that the temperature is consistent. And right now it says that this is 20.3. Celsius. Okay, so now I have catalase already ready. This is the catalase that I produced from the potato. You're going to take this two mLs, you're going to put it in, and then we're going to secure the top here. We're going to make sure that it's very secure so that we don't get any of that gas pressure that's being released. We want to catch all of that oxygen as it comes through. And then we'll start collect for 200 seconds. Really quickly, put it on, secure it as much as possible, and hit collect. And there we are. So 200 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Okay. Now for this lab, we're gonna make sure that everything is consistent. We're gonna check the temperature. We're gonna make sure that we use the same catalase and we use uh, the same equipment all across the board. So gently release the pressure. There's not much in here. And that's your baseline test.
Now that we ran the lab, we're gonna take a look at the data. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find the linear fit. We wanna find how fast or the rate of reaction of this breakdown of hydrogen peroxide with catalase. So we're going to select, we're gonna start at 40. We're gonna select all the way to 200. And we come to this little spot over here known as our graph tool. Click on there and we're going to apply a fit curve. Now it's going to take us to linear automatically and I'm going to choose apply. And that will give us our data. And on that data, what we're looking for is we are looking for the slope of the line. And that's here. This is M. M is the slope of the line and that is the rate of catalase activity. And that's in kilopascals per second. And you can see that pressure over here on the side, and this is time. So that's the information that you are gonna need for your lab. That is the slope of the reaction for the baseline test. Okay, now that you have the baseline data, you're gonna choose the experimental portion of this. You can choose one of three variables. One is concentration, click the button now. pH, click the button now, or temperature, and click the button now. You're going to choose one of the three variables and use that data to compare to the baseline.